Have you ever found that telling a friend or relative about an upsetting situation made you feel better? Sometimes an attentive listener can make the difference between struggling with bad thoughts all day or recovering your calm self. Human beings are inherently intelligent. However, distressing experiences interfere with our thinking, sometimes for years. They can make us feel bad and make poor decisions. Fortunately, an extension of simple, attentive listening can help free our minds from many distresses. We can regain the natural ability to heal from hurt if we have a listener who is sincerely interested, remains relaxed in the face of our difficulties, and understands how the process of emotional release operates. This process works better when two people take turns in listening to each other. It's simple to get started. Find a friend, colleague or partner who will try it with you. You don't need money to get this sort of help, just agree to take turns. Neither of you need to be an expert, although you will become more skillful with practice. Before you begin, agree to take turns of equal length, listening to each other without interruption, and agree how long the turns should be. Then decide who is going to talk first. That person talks about whatever she or he wants to talk about, but avoids complaining about the listener or any mutual acquaintances. We refer to the speaker as the client and the listener as counsellor. The counsellor pays attention, tries to understand fully and doesn't interrupt to give advice or comment or express their own feelings about what is being said. Recounting a sad experience, the client may cry. This is a perfectly normal part of the emotional release and shouldn't be discouraged. It's not unusual for a client to laugh, tremble or even punch a cushion to express annoyance. After an agreed amount of time, they swap roles. The counsellor becomes the client and gets listened to. Because people take turns, the process is called co-counselling. Confidentiality is important. Whatever is said by someone as client should not be repeated by the counsellor outside the session. This is essential for the client to talk freely in their session. Co-counselling sessions can be as long or as short as you have time for. Even a few minutes being listened to can make a big difference in how you are able to think and function. If you have an hour to talk, that's even better. A timer can help keep turns to a set length. Since only time is exchanged, this process can be used by a wide variety of people and it becomes more effective the more you use it. The most important things to remember are that you take equal turns, pay good attention, don't interrupt with your own thoughts, memories or advice and keep the other person's session private.